Alright, here we go. Welcome back. Um, today, we're going to be looking at the uh, HTC Thunderbolt. Um, I just recently got it, switched from the Droid X from Verizon, and I'm going to show you how to turn this phone into the ultimate business phone. And then we're going to strip it down from the original Verizon apps, uh, root it. Actually, you can uh, check out the uh, how to root the Thunderbolt video on our channel, Tech Vitamins TV. And Additionally, I'm going to show you what applications you should get um, that are mainly for business use. I mean, that's why I use uh, Android and why I think it's one of the best phones that came out. Um, but let's go ahead and start with the first thing that I would do. Um, first thing, before even using the phone, you got to change the keyboard because, to be honest, the keyboard um, on this particular phone is not that great. We can see when I bring this up that. I already have the keyboard installed and this happens to be Flex T9 which is compatible with the uh, Dragon Dictation device and this is a great keyboard I mean I can go ahead and type swipe basically I can type oops see didn't get that one but I can type just like this and it's pretty fast not bad of how this types um, I'm not going to send this but you know, in order to change the keyboard we would have to go to uh, settings uh, let me get out of here go back to the home screen we'll do settings go to the keyboard and make sure that this is selected, the Flex T9 input needs to be selected and then um, you can also mess around with the individual settings and preferences I and mean, there's a lot of stuff you can go through very useful application but uh, when I go back to my text and application the way you select it is you press excuse me, press and hold at the text uh, bar and then you do input method and then you go from touch input which is the stock droid or Android keyboard to Flex T9 input. So that's definitely the very first thing um, I would have done uh, after rooting this phone. Uh, in the next video, we're going to take a look at how to strip all the Verizon um, applications from this phone, so you don't, you know, waste your processing, your battery, which already sucks on this phone, and. Uh, basically just clean it up. There's a lot of crap that Verizon installs, but you know, can't just blame Verizon. Verizon is a great network, AT&T and T-Mobile and Sprint, they all do the same thing. So I'm just going to tell you simply how to get rid of this crap.